Hello everybody, welcome to SOD5. Today we are going to talk about Saturn in 8th house. What kind of general results, good and bad, both we can expect if Saturn is in 8th in anybody's chart. And what are the remedies if you are experiencing any kind of problems or negative side of Saturn in your case. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself, you can go on this website. The link is shown in description. So we are going to start with Saturn in 8th house if it is well placed or strong. So well placed or strong, I mean that it is in own sign or exaltation sign or friendly sign. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the lord of the sign in which it is sitting, that planet is well placed in the chart. It is means it is giving support to Saturn. Then uh, parallelly, uh, sun, moon and ascendant lord, they should be well placed. Uh, in the chart because they govern the inherent fundamental strength of the chart. If they are weak, no matter how good your other planets are, they can't give expected results even if you are running through their time periods. So Sun, Moon and Ascendant Lord should be strong and well placed and if Saturn is in 8th. Now in 8th, malefics in 8th, 3, 6 and 8th, they are considered good and Saturn particularly in 8th have tremendous capacity to give quite good results in life. Uh, what are they? They are. Uh, we are going to talk about that. So first of all, we are going to discuss the strong Saturn part. So I told you what is strong Saturn mean. So first you can see here that 8000 Saturn both represent transformation. Okay. Uh, so 8000 is sudden events, changes and uh, change uh, and any kind of thing which motivates you or forces you to uh, 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 to to see something from a different point of view, a change of perception. That is what eighth house is. So eighth house Saturn, you can see here that it forces you to transform and improve for better through struggles, sudden events, any kind of instability in life or existential crisis. Now, if Saturn is good, only then the transformation will be positive. Now, positive I mean that it makes you much wiser, much more mature, much more understanding, much more broader in perspective. It shatters your original belief and narrow perception of reality and the world and yourself and it makes you more understanding, more accepting, more practical, more uh, adaptable to the real reality of life and more calm, more contented. That is what it uh, uh, brings. So this is what positive transformation means. And the moment that person is going through that phase of transformation, they will experience uh, struggles, uh, agitation, frustration, depression, temporary depression, not permanent depression. But that that is like it, it is because it is the natural process. Uh, it's like a metamorphosis of the person. So that is what is happening. You have to go through some kind of difficulty, temporary difficulty, temporary discomfort in order to become more wise and mature and understanding and accepting individual. So that is what Saturn in 8th house forces you to be if it is well placed in 8th. Then it also makes person quite silent who likes uh, solid solitude okay it also saturn makes person more introvert mature observant eighth house is research and analysis deep thinking so saturn in eighth makes person uh, uh, a deep thinker uh, who uh, who looks for the meaning in life the purpose in life it gives you an analytical realistic approach to see the things uh, gives you a keen observation also makes person quite secretive a person who does not open up very much and does not talk very much all the time about their uh, actual, uh, uh, what you can say, their feelings because it is looking at your second house of speech as well. Uh, but in 8th house, Saturn also gives, as I mentioned, temporary sadness and depression to ultimately bring detachment in life. Okay, And uh, Saturn in 8th can also show quite a lot of liking towards the 8th house activities which are uh, hidden things, mysteries or things which are um, which are not known by many people. Okay, So it gives you a natural interest to know about myself, my existence, the reality of life and all the subjects which give you the uh, answers to those questions. Saturn gives a natural inclination towards them. Then 
it also if spiritual yogas are happening in the chart okay like sun moon or ascendant lord are well placed the first fifth ninth house four their twelfth house are strong saturn jupiter ketu are in good con uh, re, uh, situation then the spiritual awareness will be there but how, what does it mean it gives you meaninglessness it gives you detachment it gives you more intuition uh, uh, forces you to know about your own self and the absolute reality of life uh, then it uh, also uh, make uh, takes person towards like yoga meditation uh, renunciation in life so that is what Saturn in 8th house can show if it is well placed and making spiritual combinations. Then Saturn looks at the 2nd uh, house from 8th house and also the 5th house uh, from 8th house. So it can show that Saturn can hamper fa uh, the family, huh? family or love relationships and career because it looks at 10th house also somewhat. To not give fulfillment through them easily. Because Saturn, see, 8th house is a house of detachment, isolation, distance, renunciation, monasticism, uh, uh, sadhana, um, uh, complete austerity. That is 8th house. And Saturn is like that. Saturn is known as a yogi. So, in 8th house, whether you have a spiritual yogas or not, whatever, Saturn in 8th, it does not mean that it cannot give you these material things in life. It can, but it cannot give you fulfillment and contentment through them. Whether it is the family, whether it is the relationship, whether it is the career or whether it is money, whether it is anything. It can give you those material things in life, but it won't give you the sense of completion, sense of fulfillment through them. It gives you an element of inner emptiness, dissatisfaction, discontentment because it wants you to move towards a spiritual path as well to seek yourself rather than engrossing completely in blinded materialism. So that is how it functions. If it is well placed, then it forces the person to move towards those things and person actually, uh, as I said, it gives you positive transformation. Now, it also shows that 8th house Saturn, if ascendant lord is fine, so it enhances the longevity of the person. It is very good for long life. You have to see how combinations are. But Saturn, if it is strong and Lagna is fine, then it gives you long life and it can create some certain health issues over a period of time. Uh, but longevity is okay. Then it is not considered good for father because Saturn is in 12th house from 9th house. So 9th house is father. So 9th uh, and, and Saturn is sitting in 8th which is 12th from 9th so it can it can create troubles to father or troubles with father. So maybe the relation with the father is not good or father might have passed away or father uh, uh, experiences any kind of chronic health issues or any other suffering in his life that can be possible. You have to see the 9th house and the sun placement for that as well. Then there are many areas for which Saturn is favorable for either education or career. It can be real estate, infrastructure, construction, agriculture, architecture because that is what 8th house is. Land and uh, properties, construction, so everything and Saturn is the same thing. So it can take you in those fields. Then it is good for engineering. All kinds of engineering can be seen. Uh, manufacturing, coal, oil, gas, iron, steel, mining, metal industry. Uh, it also favors for medical science. So life sciences, medical fields, healthcare industries, people who are scientists, researchers, developers, so R&D industry in any field, earth house. Then uh, it is good for things li uh, like defense, police, security, where an element of secrecy is involved very, very much. So that, that can be seen. Uh, then uh, it is good for law, politics, tax, accounts, audit, Insurance, operations, strategy, writing, uh, jyotish, uh, occult sciences of all kinds, tantra, and uh, we can also see the monks from this. Okay, so this is what Saturn in eighth house can bring if it is well placed in the chart. Now we are going to talk about weak Saturn in eighth house. If Saturn is badly placed in eighth house and making a strong doshas, let's suppose Saturn is debilitated or and at the same time not getting into niche banga, then. Uh, it is in enemy signs. It is in heavy conjunction uh, with the 6th, 8th, 12th Lord, Sun, Mars, Rahu, Ketu. Uh, or at the same time, it is retrograde, uh, combust, uh, uh, in Mrityu Bhag. Any of those things are happening. Uh, or in deep Papkartri Yoga. And at the same time, it, the Lord of the Zodiac sign in which it is sitting, that is badly placed in the chart. Uh, the uh, Lagna Lord, Sun and Moon are also weak. 
here you have to see the lagna lord must be strong uh, otherwise saturn will bring more problems in life and instability in life so if lagna lord sun and moon are weak then uh, saturn in eighth house will have capacity to create a lot of problems and negative results at the same time so what kind of results we can expect if saturn is getting bad or weak or afflicted or making bad doshas in the chart that will depend from people to people chart to chart i am going to share all the kind of possibilities here you just have to take it as a source of information don't jump to conclusions see other combinations in the chart and then arrive at a proper uh, result that okay this is how uh, in my case or in anybody's case saturn can be good for certain things and it can create problems in certain areas of life so that is how you have to check but what kind of problems it can bring if it is bad so first of all it shows that saturn will throw constant struggles that is eighth house because it is a trick house dusthana house so eighth house and if saturn is not good then it shows constant struggle delays failures instability sudden changes suffering and misery in any area of life possible depending on the chart so it can be career finances marriage family relationships education health whatever depending on the chart what area it is impacting it can show troubles related to them then it can show no positive transformation because if saturn is good it will show positive transformation what do i mean by positive transformation i already told you but if it is not good then still it will throw those kind of circumstances uh, problems issues which will force you to at least uh, become more accepting of the reality but the problem will be that now the person does not have that capacity to so it can uh, now it will be a situation where person is living in self denial self deception and makes person more negative rather than positive so more negative means person becomes more bitter angry resentful depressive uh, uh, no peace no happiness emotionlessness can prevail envy sadism jealousy these negative tendencies tend to increase a lot and they don't uh, move towards the positive aspect of life at all so that is possible in this case if it is bad sun and moon and ascendant lord if they are not supporting then it can be seen in a higher scale then at the same time saturn can also bring adharma adharma means it is looking at 10th house second house of money 10th house of career so uh, gaining money or fulfilling desires or having a career through adharma adharma means uh, immorality unethical practices so it can bring lies manipulation deceit cunningness selfish behavior seeking shortcuts instead of going for uh, genuine uh, committed uh, effort or hard labor then it can show uh, greed or eighth house is hidden things things behind the scenes so it can create it can show all kind of immoral and ethical corrupt practices crimes and corruption all kinds from petty theft to all kind of big crimes that depends on the chart okay you just don't have to Uh, be scared you just have to understand okay this planet can bring these kind of results if it is not good all kinds of people are living in this world so you have to justify what is why it is happening in anybody's case so it can show all these kind of negative things underworld is seen from eighth house saturn and rahu in eighth if bad they can bring this imprisonment socio or psychopathic behavior possible if uh, you have to see combinations i am not going to tell you the psychopathic combinations of course but saturn is a planet which does not have any emotions it can bring that kind of negative pattern as well so these are the possibilities what i told you of saturn if it is not good in the eighth house but there are remedies for a weak saturn if you are experiencing any kind of struggles delays in any area of life like i mentioned so i made two videos watch them the links are shown in card section above and given in description below follow the practical and astrological remedies described in those videos both are necessary to follow uh, and the more you understand that why such things are happening and you try to improve on a practical skill as well as follow the astrological remedies for the planet you will see constant improvement in the problems or the situations Uh, which it is bringing in life so that's all from my end regarding saturn in eighth house 
uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more posts and reels and information connect on my facebook and instagram pages their links are given in description otherwise we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you